What does that even mean, Bowers Game Cardinar? Oh, hey there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. Today, I'm very excited to check out Lego Creator the Race to Build It board game from Rose Art. This is for two to four players, ages, I'd say about seven and up. It'll take you about eh, 10 15 minutes to play. And in Lego Creator the Race to Build It board game, you are going to get a blueprint for something super cool that you are going to be attempting to build. You are going to be chucking some dice, moving around a board, trying to collect all the pieces you need before your opponents can collect all the pieces they need to to build whatever is on their schematic but lo and behold it's not going to be that easy because other people are going to be trying to steal your pieces as well sound intriguing let's open it up check it out all right then we're going to take a look at what you're getting inside of lego creator the race to build it board game so first and foremost we have a handy dandy rule booklet it's kind of two pages double-sided full color full of pictures illustrations uh, and on the back it just shows you the contents of the game the different legos you're going to get and it's a pretty serviceable rule book that have you up and running in no time at all and in fact i can probably teach you how to play the game because it's very very simple so in lego creator the race to build a board game you are going to pick out one of these colors at the beginning of the game and then each player is going to take one of these cards on these cards there are going to be different things that you're going to be building with the legos in the middle so for instance you might draw this card right here and your opponent might have that card and then uh, the rest of them would go away so you are racing to build this one and he is racing to build that one and whoever is able to build theirs first is going to be the winner uh, so you're going to be moving these pawns and by pawns i mean little hats which why are they little hats i have absolutely no idea uh, but yeah you're moving those little hats all around the board by you guessed it rolling and moving uh, now in the center of the board they're going to be what's going to be what's called the brickyard you're going to have a bunch of different pieces around the outside and then some fancy pieces on the inside those are called special pieces those are going to be a little bit more difficult to get but not too terribly difficult uh, as you'll see uh, when I show you the different spots on the board. So when you're ready to start, you're going to start, you're going to roll the die, and you're going to move that many spaces. So red might go one, two, three, and it says pick one special piece. So we get to take one of these special pieces out of the middle, and we can see right here we're going to need two of these little doodads. Uh, so those are in the middle. Those are special pieces, so we would grab those guys. Uh, we'll grab, there it is. We grab one of these special pieces, and woohoo, we have a special piece. And that would be the end of our turn. Now the next player would go, they'd rinse, wash, and repeat, and do it over and over and over again until someone is able to build their, uh, their Lego that they are trying to create. So we'll go over a couple different spots of the board, and then we'll wrap this up. you got the generic ones, pick one yellow brick, blue brick, red brick, green brick, all the various different colors, except for the, I believe they're the black and the gray, which are going to be a little bit harder to get. You're going to be able to pick one of those. This one is pick one brick, so any brick you want of any color, so that one's really helpful take one brick from another because others will be able to steal your brick take a special piece take a white brick uh, this one is uh, the best spot on the board is take two bricks from another so you're gonna be able to take two bricks instead of one brick and then also on the corners you're going to have go to any space spots and pretty much every time you're probably gonna go here because then you'll get to take two bricks from anyone else but anywho you're gonna continue to do that until someone is able to build their fancy machine that they have on their card and whoever does that first is going to be the winner of lego creator the race to build it board game and that in a nutshell is how the game is played all right then lego creator the race to build it board game from rose art one of my final thoughts go to the pros let's go to the cons first on the con side the game's not gonna be for everybody because well it's the lego game by rose art they make crayons and markers and kitty stickers and stuff um this is definitely not a game night game and uh, i mean that's that's the major con there's you know if you're interested in this game already. I'm not going to come out here and say, man, there's really deep, in-depth strategy to this game. No, there's, there's not. It is a Lego game where you collect pieces by rolling and moving, and you control a stupid little hat. Uh, that's another thing that bugged me about this game. Why is my pawn a hat? You couldn't splurge for the guys, at least, so then you could put them in your cool little rides. But no, they got the stupid hats. Um... That's about all I got on the con. I'm not going to beat up on the game too much because moving on to the pros, I surprisingly really enjoyed this game and the kids in my classroom really loved this game. Uh, so as many of you know, I'm a preschool teacher. I work with kids age three to five and they really enjoyed this game, especially the four and a half to five year olds. And I'll tell you why. Because in this world of tablets and phones and iPads and Angry Birds and all that garbage, Kids really don't know how to build sometimes. And this, even, this, this gives...
gives them that sense of accomplishment where, you know, when we play with some modified rules in the classroom where even at the end everybody gets to build their own little thing, uh, but they built something. They took this map, they took this schematic, and they created something, and they think that's really super cool. Also, they love stealing pieces from other people, especially when me, personally, Mr. Forrest, is close to winning. They're like, aha, I'm going to take that piece. I'm like... You don't even need that piece! Why are you taking it, Billy? I will set your house on fire! That's what I think. I don't actually say anything. Say, ha ha! Nice move. I was gonna win you a little shit. Uh, but anywho, that's quite a bit of fun. I think it's a great family game. Also, if you have young children, highly recommend this game if you can find it. If you're gonna be able to find it, it's gonna be dirt cheap. I think I got mine for 50 cents at Goodwill. And surprisingly, Lego Creator, the race to build the board game, is not half bad, as long as you understand that this is purely a young family game and a kid's game. So that is Lego Creator, the race to build it board game from Rosart. Surprisingly, a thumbs up from me. I don't use thumbs up, but yeah, I guess I will in this review anywho. In the comments below, let me know, did you play with Legos as a kid? If not, why not? And if you did, what was your favorite thing to build? For me personally, it was always spaceships. Uh, I always lost the stupid wheels. That's why I never built cars. I like building cars better, but uh, but I always lost the stupid wheels, so then I made them into spaceships. But I do get to play with Legos every day being a teacher, so that rocks! But let me know in the comments below, did you play with Legos as a kid, and what did you like to build? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Oh, and be sure to subscribe, that thing too. Click on the button, or not. But do it, though. I'm just playing it off like I don't care, but I secretly do care. Every time I get a subscriber, my heart just feels glee. No, it really does, but I am being a little bit sarcastic. Take it with a grain of salt. Let's just end this video. Click on the subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Or a YouTube, a Twitter, a dig it. I don't know. What am I talking about? You guys want some Skittles? That was the review for LEGO Creator, the race to build it board game. For more reviews and previews, check back at Bowers Game Corner.